get a cup of coffee this morning. I got to share some stuff with you. It's it's the solar flare on the sun yesterday was the largest event this year. Very significant. And I've got some powerful information I want to share with you. Are you serious? Are you okay this morning? It's April the 12th, 2013. Wow. And you know, this is one of the 12 prophecies that the Lord revealed to us on New Year's Eve during a live broadcast um, with over 600 witnesses that, that night that were live on the air on New Year's Eve, that there was 12 prophecies for the year of 2013. You can read all of them at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. And one of the 12 was there would be major solar flare events, at least three, that could affect the earth. Well, it happened yesterday. There would be at least three and at least one would affect the earth. And it happened yesterday. Let me read to you exactly what took place. I want to thank Troy for getting this information to me. But the most powerful solar flare of the year erupted from the sun uh, on April the 11th, yesterday, April the 11th, 2013, sparking a temporary radio blackout on Earth, according to NASA officials. So temporarily, it blacked out radio stations around the globe. Temporary blackout. The solar flare occurred at 3.16 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time and registered as at a M6.5 class solar flare. That's pretty big. M6.5 solar flare class, uh, M6.5 class solar flare event on the sun. It was a storm, a relatively mild level flare on the scale of solar tempest, but it coincided with an eruption of a sol super hot solar plasma known as the corneal mass ejection. This is the strongest flare seen so far this year of 2013, according to NASA spokeswoman Karen Fox. She explained in a statement, increased numbers of flares are quite common at the moment since the sun's normal 11-year cycle is ramping up towards solar maximum, which is expected in late 2013. You know, I did not know that. I, I'm not a scientist. I did not know that when the Lord was giving me this uh, prophecies for the year of 2013 that of the 11 year uh, uh, cycle that the solar flare maximum uh, was ramping up for the later part of 2013. But anyway, this approaching, uh, this, this sun flare at 6 M class 6.5, NASA says Sun Watching Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded a stunning video of the strongest solar flare of the year showing extreme detail. Now, the spacecraft is one of the several space based observatories keeping track of the Sun's solar weather events. If you would like to watch this video, folks, you can at www.space.com. Just go to the website, www.space.com, and uh, just search out the sun's biggest solar flare, and you'll be able to see that video. Now, NASA officials have dubbed today's solar flare as a spring fling for the sun, which has been relatively calm as it heads into its peak activity period. Today's M-class solar flare was about 10 times, though, weaker than the X-class flares, which are the strongest. So those are yet to happen. Yet, yet, because of the eruption uh, that was taking place and the direct hit that this solar-class flare had on the Earth, it did a temporary blackout of radio stations and radio frequencies around the globe. So that is an update on solar flares. We'll be right back. I got one more piece of information to share with you. As it relates to North Korea, this is breaking news just in. North Korea is warning Japan today on April the 12th, 2013, that it risks nuclear retaliation 
should it get involved in any conflict that breaks out on the Korean Peninsula. So condemning as provocative Japan's statement that it might intercept an expected missile launch by North Korea. The Korean Central News Agency has just said, intervention by Tokyo could be seen as consumed in nuclear flames. So here's the deal. North Korea is just about ready to test their fourth nuclear missile. And Japan is saying, if you guys fire that missile, we're going to shoot it out of the sky. North Korea's response is, if you get involved in anything to do with our nu nuclear program or any conflict of nuclear war between us and South Korea, uh, if you get involved, retaliation of a nuclear nature is coming your way. So the, again, the uh, unrest in Asia is also, there would be severe or unrest in Asia is another one of the prophecies that the Lord gave us for the year 2013. It's certainly that one also has come to pass. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Please understand you're living in the last days that Bible says there would be wars and rumors of wars. Nation would rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. He said that in Matthew 24. He, Jesus did as one of the signs of the end of times. Also, he was asked, if he, and he explained that another sign that you would see in the end times in Luke 21, 25, is there will be signs in the sun and in the moons and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Again, that's Luke 21, 25. We're seeing biblical signs of the end times being played out before our very eyes. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are truly, without a doubt, running out of time. God bless.